in time. and Martin that haven't at the moment got the hard front tyre. You can see there on the graphic via Quattro. Martin Zarka and Paulus Bargaro go from the second row. Then it's also on row eight. Has there ever been a more GP race? The tension. We just saw there the pre-race rituals for the two to Kahaka from Jack Miller before he starts. But what colours? Up hero, we saw a lot of changes going on on the grid. Or the Ducati, they are mostly out of the front, the soft career. Fans were allowed in to this event here this weekend. 25,000 down. Good start from Miller in second. Good start also from Martin. Quattro is trying to tell Pecco with the lead into turn one. Quattro up to second. Perfect. The side of Fabio Quattro into turn three. Look at the advantage Bagnaia has already in the first. By Jack Miller there to get ahead of Quattro in that first sector. It's given his teammate Pecco Bagnaia the pass as well. Zarco just picks off Mir. Oh, and a bit of a moment there for Polish Bargaro. Yellow and red flares make it a little bit misty in the background. Marquez is up three places from seventh to fourth. Next for him is Fabio Quattro, the regular a second clear Quattararo was wide going through Cavani weekend his advantage at the end of this first lap will be over one second for Ducati their men were one and two on the grid there one and two at the end of the first lap now Quartin up the inside oh he's going to run in hot Jorge Martin got they said yesterday I'll act as a wingman for Pecco Bagnaia he did the perfect job didn't he you can see the problem that comes to Juan Mears where when he starts Maroon back on that fourth one of his home fans the doctor is last behind his teammate Andrea there is Alex Rins just behind Polish Vargaro and Aya Bastianini fight their way through the pack and this man's just long gone he's near one from Bagnaia are we going to see the reverse here today there's Alicia Spargaro trying to find a way through on the Repsol Honda with Polish Vargaro yeah but an excellent start this the catty will be loving Jorge Martin right now they love him anyway but he's taking more championship from Quattararo though retaliation through turn four he does make it stick as well the French Bagnaia 1.3 seconds clear of uh, Miller in the number eight. Quattrara will try and cut it to the tighter inside line. But the Cathy Yamaha on the inside picks Martin up. What a battle. This is for third. Alicia Spargaro then. Really good start for the Aprilia man. Fifth ahead of the two reps. Oh, oh he's gone down. Oh, no. The Cathy will have... Master's lap of the race for Bagnaia, your race leader from Jack Miller. That's just the opening few laps. And already, look how far back they are on the two Ducatis. So, so. Got the likes of a Honda and a Ducati ahead of you as well. It makes the task. Agro, and he's made that look so simple. He made it look easy from the helicopter. That's brave in the final corner. You've got to be supremely confident. Spot can Mir do the same. So quite a famous incident. Back in the day, we're going to go for it. Attack hard in the first lap and see how long he can hang in there for you. Marquez. And Alessia Spargo has wide. Alessia Spargo has gone out wide into turn number eight. Or oh, Enea Bastianini. Outstanding. Here he comes up alongside. Warm knife through butter. Carved through at Cavoni. Pinned in fifth gear. Fourth place for the rookie. Around turn 60. He's done a good job. He's just put in the fastest lap of the race, the Aussie. Yeah. At 32. Three. Is it? Because Enea Bastianini is going to come charging on through. It's gap between Banya and Here it Miller. comes. Here it comes. Bastianini up. Well, the home crowd will absolutely love. Absolutely stunning performance this by Enea Bastianini on a two-year-old motorcycle. Jorge Martins had his moments. Oh, Rins so is on the inside of a group. He is one of the latest breakers in MotoGP. Again, on that last Fabio Quattararo, third place pre-race, in particular on the factory Ducati, at the slightly superior race pace. Benjamin, he's hanging on in there, trying to see if there's a... Here comes Mir. Yeah, that was the quickest man on circuit currently. Johan Zarco's days going from bad to worse. He's taken the shot about the hard-charging Brad Binder. The charge has not really taken place yet. 17th on the grid to 13. Who would have thought this? Oliveira, who was so good pre-summer break. Now, mistake. Big, big mistake. Oh, oh. Quattro the same. It's not, it's not raining, it's is not. it? did, and they've both now got long lap penalties. And, of course, Martin... Bis yeah, we saw a few guys in the warm-up this morning, didn't we, running wide in those fast that a contributing factor as well. Bastianini doing a, a stunning job here. Uh, Ruben Chas getting a bit nervous already. We should note that, of course. This is the moment it went wrong for Jorge Martin. A, a bad down. down to Quattararo. There's still a lot of time to find. But well, so what's that gap then now between the impressive young Italian to get himself right back into this podium battle? in his championship he's had the speed all year season as well is maintain that rear tyre he yeah. raises who knows we could be saying Anaya Bastianini is on the post uh, a venture sponsor arm with the Catty GP19 this time in 17th place we're on board here 
with Fabio Quartararo. And I would imagine that's because he clumped into the entry of it and probably went over the white lines on his 11 laps completed now. Quartararo's far. So far, although there's a long way to go, we're not even at half race. Yes, he is, just. Not a lot in it, though. They all exchange 132.7s. Fighting around the outside of him as well, going through turn three. He's fighting his way through from that third or fourth row to be certainly fighting that Mir's producing right now. Yeah, just, the just problem is, though, too far adrift in terms of the championship. Eighth place with the two men direct. Again, Juan Mir crosses the line to put in his fastest lap of the race, but it's all uh, welcome back to the MotoGP. Paddock has got to take a long lap. 23rd oh, and beautiful, last. Beautiful. That was coming. You can see Quattro lined it up through. Find a way back through. Paco Bagnar and Ducati need a favour here from uh, on Mark Marquez, sorry, at turn number 14. So Alex Rin, Bastianini, one Suzuki at least is making forward movement. That's a couple of really impressive moves that Alex Rins has made into turn 14. 2.4 now. I think Iglecuona's crashed. Then there is Quattararo. Second place for him. He's just put a tiny bit of Alex Rins is certainly very accomplished in that department as well. Looked like a bit of a twitch there though on my heart. Traditionally in the past, that's where they'd have had a big advantage over the Ducatis in much, much stronger. Likewise, Bagnar in that first sector, they've really cut our man. Fastest lap of the race. And that's supremely he's, strong. He's catching Jack Miller. Bastianini is on that two-year-old Ducati, which was still plagued by B. A huge scalp, a huge coup. The 23 laps in Aragon last weekend and the 16 laps so far here today. Again, fastest lap of the race. And again, oh, he's gone down. Gone down. Oh, we've seen that sorry sight in 2021. Gravel trap, down at turn one. This is not over at the front. Make light work of Jack Miller. Bastianini is podium bound. Oh, he's faster than everyone. Bastianini, it could get better yet. Bastianini's taking three turn race lap. Jack Miller has got some serious trouble coming here. Likewise, astonishing speed from an A. Bastianini being lined up surely into turn eight. He's not quite close enough. Will he now do it then? Here comes the move. He's coming from a long, long way back on Jack Miller. 1.6 the gap between Bagnaia and Quattararo. Oh, it's one and a half seconds now, the gap between the Italian and the Frenchman. Down and out yet again on the factory Suzuki when he was running. Yeah. Quattararo has just been excellent, hasn't he? Under sector one, it's not even a contest. Quattararo, again, two tenths quicker from Quattararo. Bastianini. He's left Miller and Marquez trailing in doing 132s, which is no mean feat given the problems that he's having with his... Magnaia was 1.3 seconds clear of Fabio Quattararo. Quattararo again, 0.1 seconds now. Well, Bash, uh, Bash has taken four tenths of a second out of Quattararo in the first sector. To be fair to him, he has responded. Maybe Bagnaia, it's hard to... In his rookie season. I just hope he sees the check and flag because, boy, does he do at all with that. Here's Alicia Spargaro. He's in sixth with Mir. Releases his grip on that world crown. He's going to fight tooth and the way from the Suzuki man. And down to 1.1. Here is Brad Binder. Nice. Bitterly disappointed when he's not in that podium battle. He's not been close to it. He can just one more row higher up in qualifying and he'd be in this battle right now he would there's some big questions coming his way with four and a half laps to go here in Mazzano the closest it's been four laps to go in Mazzano and it is very much game really hang on here he did it against Mark Marquez survived seven you would see some wild celebrations if Quattararo wins this and of course Gigi Lina and Paolo Ciabatti I'm sure they're all looking on in Mizano, it was in the last three laps where we had a classic showdown. Bagnaia versus... Yeah, and that will come down in sector one. This is where Fabio, a couple of tenths quicker than the Italian ahead of him on that previous lap. He's still... We're in for a thrilling end here in Mizano. Pekka to try to take more points away from uh, Pekka Bagnaia. This Pekka Bagnaia trying to hold on for a famous... He can, coming out of turn six. Quattararo trying to use a bit of slip. 14 on this lap, or does he have to leave it all for the final lap time on the brakes? You'll see the Ducati, though, 
Can he get the power down? First corner on the brakes. Don't think he's a bit close enough. Anything into turn four. He flicks it right around three. This is your first bit. Oh, he's not going to make his move here. You can see how hard Quattro was trying there. Matt Gamaha tried to. Sacco, Bagnaia, they sweep through turn six. And it will still be Bagnaia. has got four. Still not close enough. Quattro, is there any here? It's all going to come down to turn 14. Yeah, and getting the speed out of this corner is career tyre to find a way through. Bagnaia has done a perfect exit on turn 10. Double for Peko Bagnaia under intense pressure. The Checker team and Peko Bagnaia. Bagnaia, brilliant son. What about that man? Anea Bastianini. Nini, third place, his first podium for Miller on the last lap. Two of the top men.